crafty friends and creators from around the globe. Welcome to Heather and Yan's studio. DJ here, and today we are doing some more junk journal page spreads. You guys are loving this, so it's now a series. So this will be episode three, and you'll see the episodes coming up on the thumbnail. So if you want to follow this, there's also a playlist for this, so you can go ahead and just follow the playlist. Um, if you're new here, I create junk journals and a lot of the components to go in junk journals. And in this series, I create page spreads to inspire you for your own journals. So welcome everybody. Um, this is the book that I play in for my junk journal spreads. And we've done two previous ones that had five spreads. So you can go get 10 and um, if I can think about it, I will link that up here, a card somewhere, um, so you can get to that, the first one, and then from there you can go on to the next. All right, so um, this cover I did in a recent video, so I just wanted to say that because a lot of people ask about this cover. Go look at my 10K giveaway video and you will see th the way I made this cover. And I see a lot of you guys making this cover and I am super excited. You're making this or something similar. You're doing, you're doing the process. So, um, yeah, I, I'm excited to see all the fun stuff and I'm glad you like it so much. So let's get to playing today. All right, we're going to do our first spread which is gonna be a really simple one. And it is going to just be a torn paper kind of spread. So first I wanna get a piece that's kind of larger. And let's see, I'm gonna to go to about there. Now I've probably done something similar. This one's just slightly different. So bear with me as I take you through this. All right, let's do this. And let me pull away from me so the white edge is not coming through. Okay, this is going to be our first pocket. I hope everyone's having a good crafty day. I am. <laughs> it is always a good crafty day here at Hither and Yam Studio. Um, but I hope you are having a good day wherever you are. Actually, I'm going to tear this. Okay, we're going to do three of these. And you can do them in a variety of papers if you want. And if you don't want to do a torn edge, by all means, go ahead and cut yours on an angle. Um, but I really wanted that torn edge. Now, this one can go up a little. And then I have another color here that I could use, and I wanna do another one that is a little bit smaller, actually. Um, I wanna go the other way, so let's see. What is the best way for me to do this? Okay, probably this way. I kinda of wanna go the other way. Actually, let's do it this way. Yep, I'm gonna go this way now and when you pull away from you that's when you leave that white edge on the other side so that is why I am pulling it away from me and this is fine that this is not going all the way down because I'm going to put another one going the other way okay this one's super simple but you know what it just breaks up the page and it's a new idea that you can use. And then you can spend a bunch of time decorating it to the theme of your book or journal, you know, whatever it is that you're crafting in. So we got two that way. And now I need a third. Um, so let's see, do I have one here? I can go, I do. Okay, so now, Hmm. I think I want like a completely different color altogether. So hold on. Okay. I have this one. And I just got to cut off that edge because I didn't pull this. Yeah, I'll do it this way. 
Yeah, I am so glad you guys are liking this series. It is always great to kind of get new ideas. And, you know, I see a lot of videos out there on, on making your own ephemera and stuff. But sometimes the page spreads, it's hard to see unless you're watching a lot of flip throughs, which you can also do, obviously. Um, yeah. So, okay. So now this one, I want to be as wide and that's okay that there's an image on the other side i want it to be as wide so i think it will be that's good and smaller so we're going to do something like this and again i'm pulling the one i'm keeping away from me and i'm going to go all the way over because i want it to match this width all right and that's what we're going for and i can cut that off if it's a little long that's the wrong bobber. Here we go. Just inking it up because there's a lot of blue here, which I love. I love the blue. And I'm trying to keep this whole journal kind of blue. Um, but, you know, it kind of blends in together if we don't have some kind of edge. So that I like a lot. It's got a nice kind of... Um, you know stacked look to it so let's start gluing these down because I have to um oop, this one can come over just a tiny bit all right we'll glue this one down and we'll see how many we get to today and whatever we get to will be on the thumbnail <laughs> so yeah I want to try to keep them under 30 minutes, but you know, you guys don't seem to mind if they go a little longer. Um, actually, okay, because this one's shorter, I don't want to glue the bottom. So let me, let me let that dry for a sec. Because um, it's going to be up here and I want whatever I put in it to be able to go all the way down. So mistake on my side, I just want this side and a bit of this here. Okay, that's all dry now, good. Put this one way over like that. Okay, and we can see that it is open on the bottom. So that is the first one. And then this one, I can actually take this down a little. Let's see how this is going to line up. Yeah, that'll work. I do have to take some off this edge. So let's see. This is going to go to there. And this is going to go to about there. So let me just cut that off. Uh, you know, everybody's journal is different, so you're going to have to fit this to yours. Whatever it is that you're doing. Maybe you're doing a mini journal. Those are fun. And so you might want to have something that's a little smaller. All right, so that's going there. Now this is a little long, so it's all good. Nobody's going to see this bottom part anyway. Here we go. And so this one I'm going to glue on this side and this side only. And you can adapt this to whatever it is you're doing. Maybe you want four. Maybe you just want two. Two pieces of paper. In that case, you want to bring this one down or something along those lines. But see how these are overlapping so that doesn't matter as much. And I guess I could have cut a little more off of there. I don't know how I measured that wrong, but that's just in my wheelhouse. <laughs> that's how I roll. Better. Okay, and then this one I'm going to glue on the three sides. And then there's, you know, so many opportunities for you to do a lot of different things as far as decorating. You can 
um, add something here and here and here. You could just put a quote up here, a butterfly or something uh, that you want to add. Um, you could you could put some words that kind of follow this line. If your if your handwriting is good, you could kind of just do a quote that kind of follows. It depends on the colors you're using, obviously. All right, but I'm gonna grab this tag. It's gonna go in because this is the tallest tag. And then I have one of these here. And then I got this itty bitty one that we could put kind of here. And then, like I said, you can kind of do whatever designing you want. I want to kind of move this along. So I'm not going to do a lot of the designing, you know, the added pieces. I'll do that after. And then if you're on TikTok or Instagram, I usually post them in my reels or on my TikTok, which is longer. It gives me more space so I can do more. So if you want to check out kind of how I decorate these pages after the fact, go over to one of the two of them and you'll see. Okay, so that is page number one. And now the second one is so much fun. And I, you can use a book page, you can use a piece of um, printed paper, you can use a magazine, you can kind of use a lot of different things here. And so the key, the key to this is that you want something that's going to be bigger than the page itself. Okay, so I'm going to get a piece of book page. Okay, and... Um, it's up to you if you want to cut this edge. I would recommend it because we're going to fold it over, but I do, and I do that for stability. But if you're not using book page, you can skip this step. <laughs> All right. And I am not responsible for any bad words on the book page. I do not have the time or energy to read every book page. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half. And then on these two pieces, we're going to fold them over themselves. So I'm just, I'm going to fold them together just to get myself kind of, I want them to be folded the same, right? So that's the only reason I'm folding them together, but they're not going to stay like this. Okay. We're going to open this up and then I'm going to fold this other one in. Okay. So now you have something that looks like this. I know I tend to go up on the camera. So I'm trying to stay in my space here. All right. And then we're going to now we have that edge. We're going to fold this in and to itself. And this is really just giving us um, more stability here. And you'll see why we need that. So just grab my bone folder. All right, and then over itself. Okay, you see now we, we're going, this is going to be a more stable edge because this is going to become a tuck. And then we're going to do the same here. Fold it in to meet that crease we made like so. All right, and now we want to glue that down. So I'm going to put some glue here, fold it over, and then whoop, put some glue here. Okay, now we got a nice stable edge there. It's thicker because it's going to be a tuck. And now we're just gonna repeat on this side. Yeah, and these go together quick, which is also kind of a good thing. The decorating is what takes us a lot of time. Well, some of these go quick. I have some more advanced ones coming up with movement in some upcoming episodes, so keep an eye out. All right, so this is what we have now. We've glued these down, and then we have kind of like this, and this is what we're going to do with this. So I'm going to get a page in here. Let's find, I'm going to find one that's a little more heavyweight. Um, let's see, on an interior page. Okay, so we have this one. Oh, then I'm going to cover that up. Okay, bear with me. We're going to find one. We're going to find one. Perfect. Okay, so this is going to become a tuck, but it's going to slide over the page. And what that gives you when you do this 
is it gives you kind of like a tab at the top here and some room at the bottom here, which is great to kind of hang dangles off of or uh, something along those lines. And then it's removable. You can take it on and off if you choose to. And then it also covers the other side. But one of the things I want to do is also kind of use it so I can create an edge here in my journal. And in order to do that, I don't want it to slide all the way on. Or you could slide it all the way on and then just glue some lace or that. But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to, this is the folded end here. Okay, so this is the, the way this is going. And I'm just going to put a fold in here so that I don't, I don't put that part over the book page. I'm going to add some glue so that this piece sticks out some. And then it's going to it's going to create like a little edge for me, like a little piece hanging out of my journal just to add some interest. Okay, but I want to um, you know, kind of determine how much I want to fold and have hanging out. So when I slide this over, this piece here now that we just folded is going to stick out. Um, and you can add some lace or you could add um, something of interest, a little, another strip of paper, some ribbon, whatever you like. But let me show you now what we're going to do. So I have this in there like that, you see. Okay, that's what I did. And we're going to put some glue in there because I do not want that to go over my page. And you don't have to do this part. This is just another option for you. You can do whatever you want, obviously. <laughs> your journal, your rules. My journal, my rules. Okay? Like so. Okay, and maybe you want to round your corners or something. That's completely up to you. I might do a little rounding. I'm just, I'm not going to use a corner rounder because this is book page, but you could. And actually, I'm not going to do that piece because I'm going to do something else there. And we also have to add some glue up here, right? Because this is going to slide over our page. And this might be a little tab, so I'm going to go down a little further on this side. And then on this side, I might want to hang some dangles over. But obviously, you don't want to glue up beyond your page. So it might be helpful for you to kind of have your page there and know where you want to put your glue. Because you don't want to not be able to slide this over your book page or your journal page rather. Okay, we want it to be able to come on and off. And now you can do some other things at the top here. You can put another um, tabby on top of that. So I have some tabs here to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, I have a blue one. Look at that, how convenient. Okay, good. <laughs> so, you could take this and kind of put it up over here like this. And then when it's slid over, that tab will hang out and you could put a word on there or something along those lines. But I'm going to ink this up uh, before I do. The way I'm going to do my edge here that doesn't slide over the page. So this is the part that's going to stick out. Okay, so when my journal is closed, this is sticking out. And that's why it would be cool. You could sew on a piece of lace or ribbon or something along those lines. But if you don't have ribbon or lace, maybe you want to just kind of give it a, a deckled edge. So you could do this with a deckled ruler. I happen to have scissors here. Um, my glue is wet, so it's being a little testy. And I'm going to put something on the top there, but maybe I'll do this on the bottom. I don't know. Kind of winging it. All right. And then I want to ink this all up. Okay. I inked that all up. And now I'm just going to attach this tab again. Optional. All of this is optional. This entire video is optional. <laughs> Everything you do pretty much is optional. All right, and I don't want it on there. I do want it here, like so. So now I have a tabby there. This is going to slide over my page. And when my book is closed, I have a little tab at the top here. I have this. Um, 
you know, like I said, you could add some lace or something. And then this becomes a double tuck, right? So we have a journal card here and we can add, a, oh, I don't know. I have another journal card here. We could add that there. So you get a double tuck and you can decorate this. Here's one I did. This one doesn't have a tab or anything, but I put some butterflies on it. And on this side, um, I, you know, I put another strip of paper on both. This one, I put butterflies. And on this one, I put a little quote and it says, deep in their roots, all flowers keep the light. Theodore Rothke. Rothke? I don't know. Somebody will tell me I'm saying it wrong, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so you could do something like that, right? And then you got a little quote here. You got a little quote, little bunch of butterflies. This kind of hangs out a little. You got a little tabby up here. You could hang something off of it. You could put some lace, whatever. So many things you can do. Okay, so that's, that's number two. And then number three is super fun too. Super easy. Okay, for this, you're going to need a couple of circles two hole punches or you can draw out the circles or you could use a different shape altogether. You don't have to use circles. Um, I'm using uh, an inch, I think this, or two inches rather. What is this? They have a two inch hole punch. I punch these with two inches and then I have a one and three quarter punch and what I want, and this is just like some recycled paper bag. Nobody's going to see this second side so you can use whatever you want. This is what you're going to see on this particular layout. So we got that. And then you want to make um, a piece for the inside because we're going to turn this into a hidden paper clip. And so what you want to do is get a circle that's slightly smaller or a shape that's slightly smaller but in the same shape. And we're going to put a paper clip in there. So you also want to make sure that whatever circle you you pick is going to fit your paper clip. Okay. So obviously this is going to fit inside that circle. You kind of get what I'm saying. You'll see it in a minute. All right. And when you cut this, you want to fold over your paper and you don't want to go in beyond this line. We want the folded line. So I'm going to put my hole punch kind of like this and nobody's going to see this. So it's fine. And you see how I have like my fold there. That's how I want to punch it out because I want it to be kind of like this. All right, and so this is just slightly smaller than this particular one. And we're gonna make a hidden paper clip. So I'm gonna take my paper clip. I'm gonna clip it over that folded edge, like so. And then we're gonna glue it. And I'm gonna use my Fabrifix, if you have like a three-in-one or an EB6000 or whatever that one is, you can use all of those types of glue. If you're looking for any of these supplies, you can go down into the description of the video and you will see my Amazon links, which are Amazon affiliate links. So I get a very teeny tiny commission if you use them, but a, a lot of the products I use are down there, if not all of them. Um, okay, and so now we want to stick this onto, well, let's put it on the back. Let's go this way. And I'm gonna stick it into the center of this one, like so, okay, like that. Now I only put glue on this little piece. I didn't put any glue here. And so that is glued down to there. And now I'm gonna add more glue onto here and then we're gonna attach this to the top of it. So we're just putting our glue on this piece. central air just came on so you might hear that in the background I can't can't not have central air it's nearly 80 outside <laughs> okay now and you don't want to go too close to the edge because you don't want this scooting over you want this to act like a hidden paper clip okay so we're, now we're going to put this piece on top and get that glued down Okay, and so now what we've created is our hidden paper clip. Okay. And now this 
is going to go on our page. Usually we put our paper clips over a page, right? This one we are going to actually glue down and I can use this glue for this. And we want to make sure that when we're gluing it, we have the actual exposed part of the paper clip out. You don't want to put it this way unless you're putting it down here. The point is this is going to become a tuck. You're going to tuck something up into it. So you want to be able to do that. And we're going to glue it down to the page. Now this you can glue all the way around to the edge. And I recommend you do that because we want this whole piece to be attached to the page. We want it to be very stable and glued down. And I'm just, yep, there's that, like so. And I'm gonna glue mine up here, but you can glue yours down at the bottom and tuck into it. You can put it on this side, you know, it's pretty versatile here. I did do some inking on mine and I made one of my little rosettes out of book page. I have a video on my channel. It's one of the very first videos I did on how to make these rosettes, I, it, but it's super easy. I just tore some paper, in this case book page, in three somewhat smaller sizes. So I got a bigger piece back here, and then I have another piece here, and then one there. And then I just punched a hole, put a brad through there, and now I'm just gonna glue this down onto the top, just to give it a little, bit of interest all right like so i thought that would be kind of fun but you could put anything on there you could put you know whatever decoration you want and now this becomes a tuck that one's going to be too big and we can tuck in a card like that or a card and a tag <laughs> whatever you like. And, you know, depending on how much room, if you want to do a smaller card, you could do a little word down here at the bottom, you know, of the page. If you're using a bit of a smaller card, let's see if I got a smaller card. I have this little booklet, right? So you could tuck that in and then you could have some room to write. Um, you could do a folded up piece of paper, whatever you like. But the point is it's a different kind of spread and yeah, and it's got that cool little, another use of a hidden paper clip. Okay, you get it, right? You do. Let's tuck this one in there, like so. And then we'll put a little tag in there too. Why not? Like so. Look at that. How fun is that? Okay, so that's three. And now four uh let's see what am i doing with four? Oh, this one's easy too so this will be a quick one so you're gonna get some paper it doesn't matter what paper you can use book page for this um i want to break up some of this blue so i've been bringing in other colors so what i think i'm gonna do here is bring in a piece of cardstock i do print on both sides just in case but i think in this case i'm just going to use this side um, we will see the inside as well with this, but um, you can just use white on the other side. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get a measurement here, and then let me see if I can round this up to an actual number. All right, it looks like we're going to do like four and a half. All right, so I'm going to do mine four and a half wide, and I want two of them the same width. All right, and I'm cutting these out of the same piece of paper. This is from my new wallpaper kit. So if you're interested in getting this paper, um, I have full sheets, oh, it's called wallpaper samples. I have full sheets and then I have journal pages, um, half fold sheets in a variety of um, like vintagey wallpaper. So this is another one that comes in there. Uh, yeah, anyway. That's from there. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fold this into one of those kind of mock envelopes, all right? And you wanna have some room here on the page. You want it to, you know, your width to kind of span most of your page because they're both gonna become belly bands, all right? And so what we're gonna do, and you can fold these whatever way you want. I like to kind of hold them together and crease that so I know where the center is. And then I put my nail there and just kind of pull down. And then I pull my other one over and then I start to finagle it so that I can get that triangle. And now 
you'll see that um, my page is very, is it's much longer than it is wide. We're using a rectangle and we're doing that on purpose because this is gonna make it look like an envelope. So we're gonna fold this up like so. You've probably seen this, right? And this will fold down like that. Okay, and now we can just kinda ink it up a little just so we can see that it's an actual envelope. Um, if you're using like book page, which is excellent for this, or even some uh, coffee or tea dyed paper, then, um, then um, you may want to ink this just so you can kind of break it up. Um, if you're using <coughs> book page or something, you could then cut out triangles of scrap and kind of paste them over the top of this because uh, we're gonna glue this down. We're gonna glue just this top piece together. So we're gonna glue those triangles we folded over down. That's what I'm gonna do. You don't have to do that. If you wanna keep it so that this whole thing can open up like that, by all means do that. But I am gonna glue mine. Cause I don't want them flapping around. All right, so that's one. All right, second verse, same as the first. Exact same thing. And I'm using two uniform pieces of paper, but you could definitely do this uh, with one being wider than the other. If you wanted, that would certainly work. You just wanna make sure that it fits in your page. All right, we're gonna do this. And I'm using a ground espresso right now. And it is a ink from Ranger and Tim Holt. So ground espresso ink. They also make an oxide just to kind of make it show up here. All right, and you can spend as much time as you want inking that. I'm not gonna go crazy because I'm making a video. <laughs> And then I'm gonna glue down my flaps, but again, you don't have to. This is just another fun one, and I'm sure you guys can think up a number of ways to do this differently each time. Now these two are going to become a double belly band, like so, okay? And then when we glue them down, we get the advantage of having a belly band. So you could stick a folded up piece of paper in there, a tag, whatever you want. But we also get the advantage of having more writing space, right? We're always concerned about dressing up our pages because we lose the actual journal space. Well, in this case, you don't have to. So let me put some glue here and here. And we'll glue this first one down. I'm just gonna see where I want it. I want my tag to show up at the top, so I'm not gonna take this all the way up to the top. And that's that one. All right. This is cardstock, so let me take a little to dry here. Just use this, kind of push it down. But this is my Art Glitter Glue Mix. It dr dries fairly quickly. Use your favorite glue or double-sided tape. It's, it's all good, whatever you like. Whatever you like to use. Okay. We have that. And like I said, if you wanna keep these flaps open, you get even more journaling space, but I kinda of like it like this. Now we can put some uh, little Velcro dots on there and that will help keep it down and closed. Uh, I think I'll use white. Why not? Um, let's see. Where are these? Are always misaligned in my set, anyway. All right. So let's see if I can get two of these off. And now, I'm not quite.
quite aligned, so let me get this better aligned. Okay, so these Velcro dots are sticky on one side and then they stick together in the middle. So I find that this glue is not always holding them on well, so you'll have to kind of play with it and see what you get, but I put them together. So I attach the front to the back and then I stick it down and then I press and then that allows me to align it. And then I'm just gonna use this because they see they tend to, the glue tends to want to pull the dot off, but that's okay. If you don't press it super hard, you're usually good. I hope I'm making sense what I'm explaining there. If you've worked with these, you know exactly what I mean. Um, the Velcro action or whatever hook and eye um, tends to be sturdier than the glue that holds the pieces to the substrate you're sticking them on. Okay, there we go. So I tend to put extra glue at times or just not close them super tight. Okay, so that's that. And then um, we can get a card or a tag or a bump then. Uh, I need something that's gonna fit through. Here we go. So now we have where we can put a tag or a piece of paper there and we get all this journaling space, which is actually more than you would have had just on the page because you also get the tag, right? Okay, so that is number four. And then the last one, let's see where we are on time. Oh, looks like we're at time. Okay, so four it is. You got four new page spreads today uh, in this order. Okay, this was number one with the three torn pieces of paper. Uh, this was number two with that fun over the page tuck. Number three was our fun little hidden paper clip. And number four is our d dual belly bands, which I think are so cool. Okay. Thanks for playing today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me share this video with others out there who might be interested in it. And if you're new here, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. I appreciate everyone for being here today. Have a great rest of your day or night.